So I came across an awesome company that lets you take pictures like this and turn it into artwork like this. So keep watching. I am going to give you all the details you need to know and a discount code as well. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. In today's video, I am actually gonna be showing you an awesome product from a company called Painted Memory. I came across this company online and I thought it would make a really great gift for Juan for our anniversary and for Christmas. And so all I had to do was send them a photo that we liked and they turned it into a paint by numbers canvas for us. So before I show you guys what they send you and what you have to do, let's go ahead and check out Juan opening up his gift. Merry Christmas and happy anniversary. Thank you. <laughs> we put this tape on there. You did. Weird. Breaking into my mail. Be gentle. Very nice. So what do you think we're going to do with that? <laughs> Paint. Paint it with this. Very nice. I so, like it. can you tell our viewers what's significant about that picture <laughs> that we're going to create? This was the day I asked you out. It was the 4th of July. Mm -hmm. And it's, you said it's your favorite photo of us. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I thought that this would be a fun activity to do with you. Just, you know, it's kind of like we've done puzzles together, but this is kind of like a, you can't mess up mm -hmm. uh, type of activity. Okay. Might be fun to create that together. Okay. You like it? Is that mm -hmm. what, what were you expecting? Because you saw the paint before. When you I never saw it. the paint. You saw the paint. I never opened it. When I opened it, I took out this rolled mat and then I saw it paint. I know, what'd you, so what did you think it was gonna be? They were gonna paint a picture. Just any picture. Yeah, but I didn't know it was gonna be a color number coordinated picture. So I've never seen that before, it's pretty neat. So as you guys saw, what you are sent is a canvas with like all the little sections kind of outlined and the numbers put in them, as well as a bunch of paint that has the corresponding number. And one thing I would suggest after having done this is you might wanna write like on the lid with a Sharpie what the paint number is, because if you put it back in the wrong spot, you're gonna mess up your painting. And I think there was one time where I just painted the wrong thing and had to go over it. So take that suggestion, write the number on the lid when you guys are doing this, but they send you all the paint that you need. They also send you three different brushes, um, ones like bigger for the bigger sections and then the smaller ones for the itty bitty sections. And they give you a big piece of paper that pretty much has the entire design on it. So if you kind of painted over a number, you can still reference what you're supposed to paint next to that on your actual canvas. So the process of ordering was really easy. Uh, we go onto their website and you pick between um, like the different sizes that they have to offer as well as how many colors you want them to send you. So if you pick the larger amount of colors, you're gonna probably have smaller sections to paint, but it will look a little bit less chunky as the final product. I picked the smaller version, I think it was 26 colors or something like that, 
and so um, I'm really happy with how it turned out. But if I had picked a larger amount, it would have been even more precise than what it came out to be. So once you figure out what size canvas you want and if you want a wooden frame, uh, we kind of passed on that and we're hoping that my dad will just build us one uh, for, you know, two hour liking, I can stain it with the wood stain that I prefer and, and so on. But you can pick a wooden frame and they can sell that to you as well. And you just upload a detailed photo, make sure it's nice and clear and it kind of follows the guidelines that they state on their website so that you have a really nice clear picture. Obviously, if the picture is too dark or too blurry, it's gonna be difficult for their program to print out a canvas that is nice and easy to paint on and your painting also won't be as clear if your photo isn't as clear so just keep that in mind stick around till the end and i will give you guys a 10 percent off discount code that you can use if you go ahead and order from this company but as you guys saw what we got was our canvas a piece of paper that pretty much represented what was on our canvas for reference all of the paint that we needed as well as the paint brushes one thing that we had next to our side as we were painting was a little bit of water. Uh, we had a little paper towel to wipe off the paintbrushes and clean them as we go, but that was pretty much it. They provided everything that you guys need to do this for yourself. This took us about two or three painting sessions. The first little session that we did, Juan took care of his shirt, the nice big black area, and I just kind of picked a number and painted as many of the pieces as I could find on the canvas. And that was pretty much all we could get done during Aubrey's nap time, but we waited another day or two and then sat down during her nap and continued this. We listened to one of Juan's books on tape and we watched a show at the same time and it was just a really fun activity for us to do together. And I think Juan actually said that it was like the most fun he's had in months. So keep that in mind, even if you don't think your husband is like super artsy, it's very therapeutic. It was fun to just kind of like escape from what's going on in the world and just sit down and paint. So after everything was covered, I decided to go ahead and use some of the extra paint that we had to cover up some of the portions of the canvas that maybe could have been done a little bit thicker. There was definitely leftover paint in every color. So you don't have to feel like you have to go super stingy on the paint. Definitely paint enough so that you can't see any of the canvas underneath. There was also a time where I realized I had painted a wrong color and it just kind of looked a little bit funky. So I referenced our paper and realized I needed to paint with a different color. So I just went on top of that and it turned out totally fine. So after we were done painting, I thought I would go ahead and show Aubrey our final product and see what she had to say. So let's go ahead and check that out. Aubrey? Mom. Who's this? this is mommy, Daddy. Yeah, do mommy, you like daddy. it? Mommy, Daddy. Mommy, Daddy, play. Do you like it? Yeah, Mommy, Daddy, honey, let's go. <laughs> mommy, Mommy, Daddy, let's go. So. At least it's recognizable. Huh, say recognizable. Uh, daddy, mommy, just here. Yeah. Say, mommy, daddy, I'm just here. Uh huh. Mommy, just here. Do you like it? Uh, mommy, mommy, I'm just here. Mommy's hair. And uh, daddy. And daddy? Uh huh, daddy. <laughs> Okay, so this is the final product from afar. If we get a little bit closer, you guys will see kind of like the different sections that we painted of different colors. But from afar, I really think that it really resembles the picture that we actually took. Some of the things we might go back and change are like the really white arm and like the white parts of Juan's face. It was just because it was really shiny in the picture from like the lights that were above us and he is definitely not that white in person. So we might choose like one of the lighter shades and just kind of fill it in on top just to kind of give it a little bit more of a realistic in real life type of look. 
Another thing I wanted to mention is if you are more of like an artsy type, which you know I'm tempted to do, is when you're filling in like the paint like right here and you have two different colors, what you could do is go ahead and mix those and just kind of dab them on the line and that might make it as like a better blend over like each of the colors that way it's not like super chunky but that is definitely like unnecessary and just something that if you want it to be a little bit more artsy you could give it a go but like I said up close it's like you know definitely you can see the different sections but far away I think it really does do a really good job at resembling the actual photo. So this picture actually was pretty much we took it right after Juan asked me to be his girlfriend on the 4th of July, right before the fireworks went off. And so that was what made this picture really special to him. And that is why I chose this as a gift for him. So like I mentioned, I may go back if I need some more painting therapy and like mix the colors and blend the lines a little bit more so that it's a smoother transition. But I don't think that's necessary. I think when we frame this and put it up on a wall, it will be really nice and you know you're not going to be studying up two inches from the paint so uh, if you don't like the chunkiness you can choose more colors which is something i did not do uh, or you can try the little blending effect as well and if you guys want me to show you that let me know in the comments and i will kind of hold off until i see your comments and maybe i'll do another video on that so if you guys want to support this company, Painted Memory, you can go ahead and use the discount code 10 off. I'll put it on the screen here and you guys can get 10% off of your order. This was an awesome company. They were very quick to respond on Facebook Messenger when I had questions and they were so helpful. Like, I love this company. I really have like nothing negative to say about this company at all. Uh, the I guess the only, I guess, criticism I could give if I had any was, you know, when they send you your canvas, it comes rolled. And so you just have to kind of be prepared to maybe use a hair dryer to maybe get out any of the little creases, but canvas is pretty flexible. So even that's really not an issue. You can stretch it out a little bit and frame it and everything's going to turn out fine. But I mean, that was the only thing that I was a little concerned about when I received the product, but it's not like I was expecting it to come like pressed and sealed in like a flat surface. So yeah, I mean, they were very quick to respond when I had questions about that and they were very helpful. So I highly recommend Painted Memory. You guys should go check them out. And like I said, this makes for a wonderful gift. Juan loved doing this. It was great quality time that we spent together. And I highly recommend it if you guys have to shop for a loved one this year and save a memory that you took but put it on canvas. I'd like to thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to use that discount code if you guys want to get 10% off your purchase from Painted Memory. Like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you guys are new here, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe. I post every Monday and Friday and I do a variety of content, all motherhood, everything a mom has to take care of including gifts for your husband or loved ones. So take care. You guys are loved and you are made for greatness and I will catch you in the next one. If you didn't know already, my name is Emily from Lima Bean Living. Welcome. We are so happy to have you. We post videos every Monday and Friday on a variety of content, lifestyle, cooking, cleaning, military life, DIYs, encouraging mathematical development in children, and so much more. Thank you so much again for watching and until next time.